For many of the concepts and results that we saw in this unit, it is essential that there exists a finite set that spans the vector space. As vector spaces with this property are very very important, we give them a special name. A vector space V is called finite dimensional if there exists finitely many vectors V1 to Vn such that the vectors v1 to vn span the vector space v. In fact, linear algebra is the study of finite dimensional vector spaces. Therefore, from now on, we will assume that all our vector spaces are finite dimensional. But before that, let us look at some examples and non-examples of finite dimensional vector spaces. If you are defining finite dimensional vector spaces, that clearly means there exist some vector spaces that are not finite dimensional. Thus, we have to look at some examples of that too, right? Some obvious examples of a finite dimensional vector space would be R2 and R3. We already saw that the set 0, 1, comma, 1, 0 spans R2. Therefore, R2 has a collection of two vectors that spans R2. Hence, R2 is finite dimensional. Similarly, we saw that 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1 span R3. Thus, R3 is also finite dimensional. More generally, we can show that Rn is a finite dimensional vector space. In other words, there exist finitely many vectors that sp span Rn. To show this, we have to give one example of finitely many vectors that span Rn. What is one such example? These are vectors that contain 1 in the ith position and 0 everywhere else. So the vectors would be 1, 0, 0, 0, etc. all zeros or 0, 1, and 0 all in the all other places. And similarly, the ith vector in this list would have 0 everywhere but 1 in the ith position. So 1 in the ith position. and so on and the final element will have 0 everywhere except 1 in the nth position. So these n vectors like this we have n vectors these n vectors span Rn. In fact these n vectors are so important that we denote them by a convenient symbol. The first vector is called E1, E2 and the ith vector is Ei and the nth vector is En and so on. And notice that if you have any element say x1, x2, etc. up to xn that is equal to x1, E1 plus x2, E2 plus etc. up to xn, En. And thus we have proved that these vectors Ei span Rn. Now let us look at a non-example. That means we will look at a space that is not finite dimensional. An example would be the set of polynomials. Recall that we saw that the set of polynomials form a vector space. However, we will show that this set of polynomials is not a finite dimensional vector space. How do we show this? Consider n arbitrary polynomials p1, p2, p3, etc. up to pn. In other words, these are arbitrary elements from the vector space, the set of all polynomials. As soon as we have this polynomials p1 to pn, we, end, we can look at the degree of these polynomials. In other words, we can look at degree of p1, degree of p2, etc. up to degree of pn. Now, these are all numbers. 
and what we can do is we can look at the maximum of these numbers. The maximum of these numbers would be another number. Let me denote it as capital N. Now notice that if you take the polynomial x power n plus 1, then that does not belong to the span of the polynomials p1, p2, etc. up to pn. Why? Because when you multiply a polynomial with a scalar, that means a real number in this case or a complex number, then the degree does not change. Therefore, the degree of any linear combination of p1 to pn cannot be greater than the maximum degree of the polynomials p1 to pn. Thus, x n x power n plus 1 cannot belong to the span of p1 to pn. However, notice that the number of polynomials and the specific polynomials we chose were both arbitrary. Thus, it is clear to us that no finite collection of polynomials will span the set of polynomials. In other words, the set of polynomials is not finite dimensional. However, the set of polynomials also gives rise to an important example of finite dimensional vector spaces. What we do is we look at a subset of the set of polynomials. More precisely, we are looking at the set of all polynomials with degree less than or equal to n. And we claim that this forms a finite dimensional vector space. To show it forms a finite dimensional vector space, we have to come up with a finite collection of polynomials that spans this vector space. And this is easy. These polynomials are the polynomials 1, x, x square, etc. up to x power n. Any polynomial of degree less than or equal to n has the form a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus etc. up to a n x power n. Clearly, this is a linear combination of the polynomials 1, x, x square, etc. up to x power n. Thus, these vectors span the set of all polynomials with degree less than or equal to n. Thus, it is a finite dimensional vector space.